What up, what up, what up? Ron Jones, a.k.a. The Fat Assassin. And uh, talk about feeling foolish this morning. Looking foolish. Not really feeling foolish, but just looking foolish. <laughs> so here's a big question. How can people like us, people who struggle with health or weight loss, people who maybe have some self-esteem or self-confidence challenges, or people who just want to improve their lives but can't quite put their finger on where to start or what they need to do next. How do we make changes in a way that improves our situation but doesn't seem impossible or overwhelming to do so we can start to live better lives? That's the big question, and on this podcast, we're going to dig into some answers. My name is Rylan Jones, a.k.a. The Fat Assassin, and this is the Healthy Mind, Healthy Body, Better Life Podcast. Woo! What up, y'all? Hope y'all having a good, good day today. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, man, so at the gym this morning, it's leg day. We normally do legs on Mondays, so today's Monday. And um, my workout partner, Ashley, is like a, she's a trainer also. So we work out together because it's a nice complement uh, with our different skill sets and kind of what we are good at. So what I am not good at is a lot of the functional stuff. Like I'm just kind of migrated away from that a long time ago and st- into a different kind of sub niche of fitness and she's more into functional uh, functional mobility functional strength like she's a dancer so she's all into that big time flexibility you know making sure muscles and joints and all that stuff stays flexible I am the opposite of that I am not flexible at all and it shows so one of the things on top of the fact that like I was, we talked about like on one of the other episodes, you know, how I've been skipping leg day and kind of slacking off on it. But also like stretching. I, I stress, I try to stretch when I'm at the gym more recently doing it because I know it'll be beneficial. And it's one of those things that I've been neglecting and I just want to do it so I can get better. So we were trying to do, <laughs> she was showing me some different exercises today. So there are some exercises I won't do because I need another person there just to make sure, because I can't see my own body. Um, So having another person there who knows what they're doing is super helpful. And that's kind of Ashley. And we're the both. So on leg days, she helps me. You know, on a couple other days, I'm more so doing that for her and doing some different stuff. So she has me doing these lungy, like a side lateral, I don't know. She calls it Cossack Lunge. That's the name of it. But it is very awkward for me to move in that plane at this point, Um, especially as tight as everything is. It's like, so I'm I'm trying to do a set. I'm standing in front of the mirror so I can see my position. And I just look crazy. (laughs) And then I'm concentrating on, on doing it. And I don't even notice her taking a video and then I look at the video and it looks like I just look crazy awkward I look super awkward super you know off balance and wobbly but I mean I'm laughing at myself it's funny to me you know when you've been working out for as long as I have and then you still you always can learn something new you're doing something new that's out way way out of what you normally do way out of your comfort zone you know and then being okay with looking ridiculous while you do it right so (laughs) that's that's the uh you know the encouragement for the day is um and i mean it could be in the gym i mean especially in the gym if you're not you know super familiar with the gym you're just getting into it or whatever like you just have to be okay looking slightly ridiculous until you kind of get it down you have to be okay with that you can't worry about like if someone's watching you or you know if someone's making 
whatever judgment in their own head about you. Like, you just can't worry about that stuff um, in the gym. And then you can't, you have to really practice and not worry about it, you know, just in regular life too, in your regular day to day activities. Um, because, man, that stuff holds you back so much. Like, you know, I'm using the gym as an analogy, but. You know, if I was worried about looking, you know, foolish or ridiculous doing this exercise or actually doing a couple of different exercises, then I would never get better. And I would just be kind of stuck where I am right now. Basically, what's been going on anyway for, you know, the last few years, like not progressing in certain areas um, as far as my legs and flexibility and stuff. So, you know, and trying to help doing everything to try to help my knee feel better. Uh, so yeah just anything like just try to try to not worry about what other people think and you know about how you look about something it's okay to look ridiculous you know don't get me wrong i'm not saying that like i never feel feel that way i feel like that sometimes too and it's tough um it's tough to not feel that way it takes a, a lot a lot of practice but no day like the present to start practicing like that and to start just accepting looking silly <laughs> or ridiculous. Oh, so anyway, that's that. So that's kind of the uh, the thing for today. Uh, I'll be laughing at myself probably, but who knows a lot. <laughs> so that's the thing for today. I uh, hope you guys go out. Have a great day. Try not to let people make you feel ridiculous. Just kind of go with it. It is what it is. And um, that's about it. I'm pulling up at the house. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Feel free to leave a uh, review. Uh, five star on there for me, please. And uh, that's about it. If you like what you hear, share it with your friends. Tell them subscribe to the podcast. And uh, hopefully they'll get some benefit out of this too. All right, so I'm going to the house. Time to eat. Do a couple things. I'm Ronald Jones, a.k.a. The Fat Assassin, saying we can make excuses. We can make progress. The choice is ours. And uh, I'm out. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram at Rylan Jones. Snapchat handle Rylan Jones. Also on Facebook at Facebook.com backslash Rylan Jones. You can also catch me on my YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash Rylan Jones.